Call it Bork's Battalion, call it Belanger's Battalion. Regardless, we are back and let's get right down to business because today could be a very, very big day for this series. We have four games left in Division 2. We are one point away from sealing promotion to Div 1 for the first time. And if we can win two out of three, we get that Div 2 title today. Now, like I said... You could call it Bork's Battalion. You could call it Belanger's Battalion. That is because Alexander Belanger will still be our goaltender for this episode. So admittingly, if I win the first two games and have to go into Div 1 with a bronze goaltender, I might shit myself from fright. But getting to the top comment, that was to add Leon Dreisaitl. Now I went out and I bought the best version of Dreisaitl that we could afford. That was the expansion version. It was about 20k. The question is, who gets taken out of the lineup for him? And it comes down to Tanner Glass or Travis Konechny. Now, Dreisaitl in-game is listed as a center, but he only has 77 face-offs. For that reason, for that reason, it is going to be Tanner Glass that gets taken out of the lineup. I know a lot of people aren't going to be happy about that, but I'm sorry. It has to be somebody at the end of the episode, of course, there will be a poll for who do we get rid of. And the three options, I'll tell you right now, are going to be Glass, Dreisaitl, and Travis Konechny. So if you disagree with me having Dreisaitl in for Glass as opposed to Konechny, you guys could easily vote. And the, the fourth line next episode could very well be Glass, Dreisaitl, and McKinnon. But for this episode, for this episode, what the hell is an episodal? It'll be Dreisaitl, Konechny, and McKinnon in on that fourth line. The team remains the same other than that. I should note as well, getting Dreisaitl activates 200-foot player for him and Gustav Nyquist. As if Nyquist needs a bump. He's been great for us. Looking forward to seeing what Leon can do. Hopefully he can replicate some of the playoff magic he's having in real life for us here in this series. Let's go. Div 2. We're undefeated so far. 6-0. Can we keep that up? I highly doubt it. Come on, Brett. Turn on those Jets. For up the wing. Brett Hall short side. Save from Gibson. God damn it. And there's the goal on Belanger. Biz Nasty was there. I would have taken a trip. I would have taken anything. Would have been better than just having the poke checks not do anything. We're down one nothing. My opponent's good, man. I can tell already this is going to be one of our tougher games. He has really good puck movements, and Ryan Ellis apparently doesn't, nor does Jeff Carter. There we go. Good shit. Somehow that wasn't deflected. Somehow that wasn't deflected, Jeff Carter. Gets the goal right back. I'm not even going to bother watching the replay, but I'll take it. We are tied. Good move there, McKinnon. Good jab with the stick there. Dreisaitl almost gets the debut goal. Can he generate something? Leon. Or Konechny the bomb. How with Konechny's overrated slap shot did he miss? Just miss wide. Konechny. Another good chance. Bobby Hall back door. My God, what was he waiting for? Ryan Ellis, quick chance. I think that was off the post. Jesus, man. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Just steps into his own play. A rebound goal. Gibson handled it. Mar Seth Jones, you're killing me. Almost said Martin Jones. Three button clicks to switch to Bissonette. And that's all it takes. Ah. This is what I was waiting for, guys. This is what I was waiting for. I'm telling you, man. Div 1. If we get into Div 1, I can't play Belanger. Bork. Jones. Damn it. Jones. Ah, right into the glove. And you know what? This is what I expected. It's Div 2, and it's taken me six games to probably lose to somebody with a bronze goalie. So that's hilarious. I'm not even mad. Panarin to the point for Yandel. It's blocked. Richards, come on. Fuck, what a save. Panarin. Richards. Backdoor pass for Nyquist. And that was it. That's the game. 
That is the game. Panarin's not forechecking. Can we get the puck? No, we cannot. And that's the game. Ugh. It's our first loss in a very, very long time. Frustrating simply because he had the better computers. That's what it was. Stats are pretty damn even. It would have been nice to at least lose in overtime to secure that Div 1 promotion, but that that's frustrating. I mean, you look at the stats, yeah, he had time on attack, but, man, that's, that's incredibly frustrating. His goalie was the first star. Not surprised in the slightest. I just need to look at this save again and how John Gibson makes this save. I have no idea. That was top shelf. That's a perfect goal. <laughs> a perfect shot. A 99 out of 100 shot. A 100 out of 100 save from his John Gibson. I guess, uh, guess nothing else to do but move on to game two. Oh my god, he's position locked to the goalie. Are you kidding me? Come on, Konechny. Come on. Konechny. Oh, oh my god. He shot it down the middle even though I'm aiming to the left. Sullivan. No, come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. No, good save from Belanger. Dreisaitl. Yandel. Deflection. Is it going to be too high? That's the question. I don't necessarily want to waste my time out, but fuck it, I will. Whatever. Is it a goal? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I have so far been outplayed by his computers, but it is a goal, and I will take it. Hopefully that leads to my computers trying. That would be cool. Jesus Christ, that's a computer. I have never seen a computer do that. Holy fuck. Are you kidding me? Not good, not good. Good save from Belanger, though. Botnan has to break out because nobody wants to go up ice. Yari for Brett. And he hit the post. Go on, Panarin. Go. Good stick lift. Oh my god, of course he shot it right at him instead of the short side. There we go for Gustav. There we go. You redeemed yourself a little bit. Not really, considering you failed to score at the end of the last game, and that was on a human goalie. <laughs> but Gustav Nyquist back on the board. We're in control of this game, thankfully. I mean, stat-wise, it's not in my favor <laughs> at all. It's been a rough night so far. Connor, you're going to get killed. Konechny, though. Konechny. There we go. 3 nothing. McDavid takes the hit. Travis Konechny gets his second of the game. He scored the first goal, the deflection goal. We're up 3 nothing, and barring a disconnect or a... Just ridiculous collapse. At the very least, after the rough start to this episode, we are going to secure our promotion to Div 1. And the good thing is, we still have a chance in our third game today to get that Div 2 title. That is absolutely the goal. That will do it. Dry Seidel with the puck will dump it out. It is a 3 0 victory. The shutout from Belanger, which. I mean, it is against a team of AI. He made some good saves. In fairness, he wasn't terrible in the first game either. It was just that second goal that was really unfortunate. That, that snipe that you'd really like him to save. But there you have it. There you have it. We are moving up to Div 1. We need one point out of this last game. Just one point. I don't even care if we lose. Just lose in overtime and get that Div 2 title reward pack. The Andal. McKinnon. Gets it off of Bobby Hull. Is that going to count? Again, and it is. It is going to count because otherwise we'd still be on the power play, right? Otherwise we'd still be on the power play? And I'd be using power play lines. 
So I'm pretty certain that's good. I don't see his guy coming out of the box. I think we have ourselves a good goal, which is huge for me in this game as a confidence boost. That's going to be a good goal. You're damn right. There we go. Up 1 0 early on. Bobby Hall on the board. Beautiful. Yari. Bobby. Oh, no, that was Brett. Brett. Brett gets him off the post. Brett Hall, what a recovery. What a recovery. And the Hulls have led us to a 2 0 lead early on in this game. It is Alexander Belanger against Henrik Lundqvist, and we're winning that battle early on. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Good save from Belanger. Take the shooter and shut him down. Bergeron is denied. Good save from Belanger, and then it's own goal by fucking Leon Dreisaitl. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Dreisaitl just charges at Belanger and knocks it in. That is... That is outstanding. That is outstanding. Well, I'll tell you who I'm voting for on the poll for who we get rid of. It's gonna be Leon Dreisaitl after that play alone. I don't care if he gets a fucking hat trick now. He is gone. As Bort can't get the poke. Vatnin does it as well. Neat. Two on goals. Two on goals in 30 seconds. And there goes our lead. Wow. Just like that. Two on goals. That's incredible. I mean, with Vatnin, it's just putting putting on the brakes and trying to turn to square up. And it's just, no, here, set it down. Set it down by putting it into your own goal. You look at the stats. Oh, my God. Whew. This is not my night. Oh no. Oh, come on. Didn't even want to bother trying to play or switch. Good save from Belanger. I still can't get rid of it, and that's pretty much another own goal. Three fucking own goals. What the fuck was that from Mike Richards? What the fuck was that? I gotta watch this. I tell him to clear it out. He picked Wow. I might as well just quit and save myself time. I don't have the confidence that I can win this game. I just don't have the confidence that I can win this game. I was feeling so good. I was feeling so good when it was 2-0 and after the win against that last team. And now that, that momentum shot. That momentum shot. The frustration from losing the first game, which I get it. I know I haven't lost too much in the series, but still, to outplay someone and still lose is always going to be frustrating. Oh, I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Gustav. Come on, Richards. And he fucking fanned on it. Panarin did too. Richards. Snipe it. There you go. Finally. Thank you. Thank you. That's the Mike Richards that I know and have known in this series. I'd appreciate that, Mike Richards, sticking around. We have ourselves a tie game. Brett. Back for Bobby. For Seth Jones. Way too predictable. Way too predictable. Yari, back for Brett Hall, and he buries it. Brett Hall with a rocket of a slap shot. We have come back to take the lead from 2-0 up, 3-2 down. It is now 4-3. One-timer picked off by Neely. It's McDavid. Carter. Short side is fucking robbed by Henrik Lundqvist. Oh my god, what a save. Good poke there. Nope, Nyquist, don't run into him for no fucking reason. And we have to take the trip with Bissonette because his first poke check missed for no reason. Put the pressure on with Konechny. Come on. Final minute for the Div 2 title. Final minute for the Div 2 title. Konechny can't do anything. Seth Jones, you've got to be fucking kidding me, Jones. You have to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Oh, there it is. There it fucking is. Seth Jones just gives up. He just gives up on the play. 
and we're tied. I have no idea what he's doing. I have no idea what he's doing. Travis Konechny is right there. He is right fucking there, covering the blue line. All Jones has to do is continue to play shallow, and we're fine. Again, now my hope is that we at least get to overtime. It sucks I had to take that penalty anyway. But that's what happens when fucking player switching screws you over. Gustav. Sit. Look at this, man. Thank God this is my last game of the episode. Thank God. Holy shit. These players have been so bad. Come on, Gustav. Come on. Come on. Get that puck. Nobody fucking open. Votnin, you gotta be kidding me. I will quick sell Sammy Votnin right now if we lose this fucking game. And I'm gonna have to save a penalty shot with eight seconds left. Because Votnin goes fucking flat-footed. There's no way I'm fucking saving this. This is for the Div 2 title. Yes, Belanger. There we go. Holy fuck. We made the save. Uh, Seth Jones gives up. Votnin gives up. I don't fucking get it, man. Can we just survive eight fucking seconds? That's all we have to do. Just eight seconds. I don't even care. I'm getting us to overtime. We're going to OT. I don't give a shit. I'll take it. We get our point. We get the Div 2 title. We're going to overtime. Holy fuck. Yeah, I know I'm going to lose this. The same exact thing that happened with the Seth Jones goal is exactly what's going to happen here. One of my defensemen are just going to stop short at the blue line. He's going to walk in on a breakaway. And next time we're not going to be as lucky. So let's see what happens. We haven't gone to overtime too much in this series. I'm not looking forward to this, but I have a feeling it will be quick as Mike Richards somehow... Doesn't get that puck. He doesn't get that one either. Bork, Bork. There it is. And the overtime is finished. And the damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, we won the Div 2 title. Two losses in the episode. Fuck, man. Damn it. I don't know how Richards didn't get that puck. I don't know how Richards didn't get that puck. But we go 7-1-1 one, one in Division 2. With a bronze fucking goalie. I know it's Div 2, it's not Div 1, although... Odds are I played at least one Div 1 player today. It does suck to completely outmatch this guy, but... 12 goals, or 5 goals on 12 shots. That's what I expected to face with a bronze goalie in net. I mean, right here, though, this is what I want to wonder. Uh, this is what I'm wondering right here. How Richards doesn't get that puck right there. He bumps him off the puck, doesn't get it. That goes through, that's fine. And right there, I can admit that I missed. I don't know what Bork's doing. Like, right there, I don't understand what Ray Bork's doing, just backing up. And then by the time I switch to him, that's when he cuts into the middle. Like, that right there, that cutting into the middle motion, that's not me. He was already doing that when I took control of him. So the best thing to do there, I guess, wouldn't have been to player switch. It would have been to just stick with Mike Richards. And maybe that would have worked, but... Frustrating frustrating to lose the two games that we did we got the gift of a game against the opponents who uh was goalie locked so we got a gift of a game there but ah, frustrating really really fucking frustrating i'm happy to end up with the div 2 title pack we're not going to get anything in that pack i'm sure but still 72 10 and 2 record i'm happy with that that's not bad but Sam, I mean, to stop a penalty shot to, to get the point and to get that title is pretty sweet. But Sammy Votnin and Seth Jones, just both occasions, giving up, standing at the blue line. There's nothing you can fucking do about it. And despite doubling them up in shots, it's, it is what it is. But your decision here, before we open up this pack and end the episode, the fourth line, who do we keep? Who do we keep? Or better yet, the question is, who do we get rid of? Dreisaitl, Tanner Glass, Travis Konechny, let me know who we get rid of. You get a look at Konechny's stats. Yes, he's a fourth liner, but still, that's not too bad for a fourth liner. Leon Dreisaitl didn't do shit for me other than miss opportunities. And Tanner Glass, aside from that one episode where he did really well, hasn't done a whole hell of a lot for me. But it is what it is. You get a look at Belanger. Now 7-2 and 86 save percentage, which is to be, ex is to be expected. God damn. God damn. Let's open up this pack. Let's hope I can get something to cheer me up. And again, if you guys decide I'm going into Div 1, 
with a bronze goalie, I'll do it. But the, <laughs> which might be the best course of action, because if you don't want this series to end, odds are if I play Div One with a bronze goalie, I'm going to get relegated. So there you go. Let's see. Can we get anything decent here? We start off with base Milan Lucic. He won't be getting into the lineup anytime soon. We get a gold collectible and a Finland jersey. That's that's what I just went through this these last three games for. A Milan Lucic and a Finland jersey. <laughs> God. Oh, that hurts the soul a little bit. I, don't, I wasn't expecting anything major, but I was hoping for better than that. But anyways, guys, that'll do it for this episode. A losing episode, which was long overdue, considering, again... We have a bronze fucking goalie, but maybe that won't be the case before we start the next episode. That is up to you guys. Again, as always, top comment is what we do, and vote on the poll for what we do with that fourth line. Who do we get rid of? Dreisaitl, Konechny, or that Stanley Cup Tanner Glass? You let me know. And actually, really quickly here, goalies you already know. Head coach, we don't currently have one, and I'll get you a look at the synergies that we have active right now so you can at least see as well what ones we are close to having active as i am trying to fight off this burp it's not happening very well but there you go guys that's the team that's the episode i hope you enjoyed until next time feel free to support the video subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys next time